Hey everybody, so what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about migrating instances to other nodes, and we're going to talk about resizing instances. With the default configuration after you install, if you come into the admin tab in the OpenStack dashboard and you go to instances, this will give you a list of all the instances, their project information, and what hosts they reside on and this is where you migrate instances. Now after the default install if I were to come in here and migrate this instance or live migrate hit migrate he'll think about it for a second and then you'll get this error about it can't make a directory. The same with resize so go to project instances just pick any one and hit resize and then select the new flavor that you want to go to so let's take a nano to a small and resize it it will think about it and then you'll get this error same thing so what this is what this means is it, you don't have the the capability to resize and migrate turned on. Uh, with Juju, it's pretty easy to get this done. So let's pull up the internal Juju admin here. Go grab my big password. Okay, and just go to compute nodes. That's where we spend most of our time. Go to settings. Then scroll down a little ways past your Nova comp flags, and you'll see enable live migration. So tick that on and enable resize and tick that on. And then go down and there's gonna be a migration auth type and we are going to set this one to SSH. Uh, this is to allow the instances to talk to, the nodes to talk to each other and communicate so they can migrate from one to the other. Hit save changes, hit commit, hit confirm. So that'll take just a second. Uh, after these errors happen, to clean up the nodes, I believe I just shut them off. I tried this a couple of times. And then they go from error to shut off and then you can just kick them back on again. Now I'll mention as well to I believe it's to resize an instance you have to have the console enabled uh, and that's what we did in the last video so go back and watch the last video get your console ready to go and then you can restart resizing and migrating instances these guys are still powering off well, while that's working on that, okay, now that we have changed GG, let's check GG to make sure nobody's failed or complaining about anything. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back and let's let those power off. Let's just try to do a resize. So, okay, now we're shut down. I'm going to start these back up. Let's take this nano and resize it to a small. Uh, and basically, this is going to give him about 15 more gig of disk, and it's going to. Uh, nano has uh, four CPUs, 
Small's only got one. Uh, change the RAM around. But anyway, it's just going to be a resize. You can resize it to whatever you want. Just hit resize. Okay, so at the end of the resize, you, it's going to ask you to confirm the resize, the migrate. So just hit confirm. And it's done. We have resized it from a nano to a small. Now let's talk about migrates. So we go to the admin system tab and go to instances. There's two types of migrates in OpenStack. You have a migrate and a live migrate. Migrate's going to take the, the system down, the instance down for a little bit while it migrates it. Uh, live migrate is seamless. You can do it while the instance is up. It, in a data center situation, you're always going to have, more than likely, you're always going to have the same type of CPUs and the same types of hardware uh, in your cloud. This cloud, we have two different types. We've got some Dell machines, we've got some HP machines, different CPUs. These are like 5300s, these are 8400s. So it's going to be uh, a little inconsistent. With a regular migrate, you can migrate, and he's just going to pick whatever hardware he can find to put this instance back up on. He's going to take him down, move him to wherever he sees fit, and he's going to bring him back up. Doesn't matter what the CPU type is. Now on a live migrate, it has to be the same type of CPU. So I can only live migrate in between these two boxes or these two boxes because they have same CPUs. So let's go ahead and just do a regular migrate here just so I can show you the process. Let's go hit migrate. He's going to take a quick snap, bring him down, uh, bring him back up on whatever node he wants. Just remember this is 1049. Okay, you can see he took 1049 and he moved him to an HP machine. He was on the Dell machine. So you can put those wherever if it's a outage type migrate. So confirm it. And he's done. He's now over on this other node. 1049, that node. So now, live migrate is a little different. So we're going to move, let's say, 51 over to this other HP node, same HP node. So let's come in and let's hit Live Migrate. It's going to ask you some questions. You have to select the, the node that's like that node. Uh, and you have to hit Block Migration unless this, this will block for block copy everything uh, from this host to the other host. You only have to do this if you don't have shared storage. We just have the Ceph storage available, the block storage that's on the compute nodes. If you had like an NFS uh, filer behind your cloud that it, the storage was shared, you just had big pools of storage, you wouldn't need to do this because he knows where all the the storage is. So you don't have to do a block by block. They're faster if you had big machines, but we have to do this in this configuration. So uh, let's live migrate it. You, there is also for some pretty complicated shared storage setups within OpenStack that you can set up with NFS shares and, and things like that, but uh, we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to do this live migration. And now the migration is complete. You can say it, you see it took 51 and moved him from machine 1 DC7900 to 2. That's live migration. And with live there should be no outage. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to set us up some test scenarios to see what happens to the machine as it resizes and migrates. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, let's start with just a regular migrate. I've got a, a IP on here and I've spun the instance up and logged in. You can see that the admin IP is the same. That's 1053. Uh, let's ping Google gets a, a little bit of activity going and let's just hit the migrate button and see what happens to the instance and he powered him off
Okay, the migrate's complete. Let's confirm it. He has migrated to a different machine. Let's bring his terminal back up. Log in again. And he's back. Same IP. Okay, so that was expected behavior for a migrate. That's, that was a good test. Now, let's do a live migrate. So, again, he is on 51, and I named him right there. So, let's ping Google. And let's hit live migrate. Got to do block. Got to go to the same type of host. So far, hasn't even missed a ping. And the live migration is done. Never missed a ping. Same address, everything looks good. So that's very impressive. Okay, now let's talk about resize. Let's go to projects, instances. We have a node here that we can resize. Let's pull up his SSH window. We'll do an IF config to confirm his IP. He's a 49. 49. And let's, for fun, let's scan the CPU info just to see how many processors he currently has. So we just cat proc CPU info and grep for processors. He's got one. So he is now a small, so that means he does have one processor. So let's start a ping from Google. and let's hit resize on this guy and he wants to log me out okay and let's take him to a medium that will give him two processors let's resize it resize started and it powered the instance off so Resizing is not seamless. Let's confirm the resize. He has now resized him to a medium. Let's bring the con let's restart the console here. Log back in. And once again we'll confirm the IP. He's still 49. And let's check his processor count. And now we have two. So there you go. Let's recap. So you can do migrations from any type CPU to any type CPU if you're willing to take the outage. Live migrations, there is no outage, but you have to be on like CPUs. And resize, there is an outage. So I hope this helped. Uh, not sure what we're going to do for the next video, but I'm, I'm sure there's lots more opportunities. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you later.